Welcome to this month's, oh, hello, Kat. You get to say hi, and then you get to go away now. Welcome to this month's uh, Prometheus Team Functional Update. Let me start the screen share. Everything look good? All right. So uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Ben Kochi. I'm the Prometheus team lead. Uh, Joshua Lambert is the product manager. Powell, uh, and Kevin, and Julius are all engineers on the team. Um, uh, so getting right into it, uh, 9.4 is a great release for us. Uh, uh, we have now additional metrics in uh, in 9.4. So what this means is you can now, uh, uh, users can now add additional metrics uh, to the display page for, uh, for all of their, for, for all of their uh, CI jobs. Uh, and this allows for monitoring other uh, common systems uh, and other service metrics. Uh, this is super nice because it, uh, it does. It now allows us to not be limited by simple things like CPU and memory metrics, and we can now start getting into actual business metrics like request uh, request handling and latency and things like that. Um, uh, well, we're also going to be adding. Um, we are, we've also already added uh, support for Nginx and other uh, load balancers for Kubernetes, which is super great. So you can get. Uh, uh, application metrics and load balancer metrics directly from uh, Kubernetes ingress controllers. Um, we also have been working on instrumenting the Rails app itself. Uh, we now have histogram metrics for web requests, which is super, super useful. Uh, this will be fantastically useful for uh, monitoring the latency of production uh, gitlab.com, but also uh, users who run uh, large installations of GitLab will also be able to get this useful data out of Unicorn. Um, uh, we also have uh, moved the metrics access from a, uh, a token that was in the database to a, a simple whitelist. This allows for much easier configuration, uh, which means we can now include Unicorn metrics by default in the Omnibus uh, package Prometheus server, um, making it much easier for users to be able to uh, monitor their, their GitLab installs. Um, uh, Coming up in 9.5, uh, we're going to be now adding uh, adding the ability to display multiple time series in a single chart. Uh, this will be super useful for uh, for looking at both average, for, for example, looking at the 95th percentile uh, uh, versus the median latency uh, on a request. Uh, we're also going to be working on for uh, enterprise edition. We'll be monitoring. Uh, uh, canaries uh, in production since canary uh, canary features are an enterprise edition feature, so you'll be able to get canary and uh, canary graphs into your uh, into your uh, projects. Uh, we're also continuing to support Prometheus in GitLab.com production using um, uh, the mtail utility. We've been able to instrument a bunch of things quickly and easily. Uh, we now have. Uh, uh, um, Wally is the backup uh, utility that we use. We now have production backup metrics uh, and the last status of all the backups. Uh, we had some problems with uh, uh, unicorn worker uh, uh, worker killer and timeout problems, so we instrumented uh, using the unicorn logs for that. Uh, we also uh, were, were able to put the sidekick. Met we're also able to put the sidekick metrics back into production. Uh, and we'll be making improvements to sidekick metrics so that we can get uh, um, uh, much better information about the running uh, sidekick jobs. Uh, Influx DB to Prometheus bridging is still a work in progress, uh, but that's moving along slowly. Um, uh, and another fun one today uh, is we can now use uh, the, one of the best things that metrics can provide is it can provide a way to make decisions about running applications. So. Uh, for example, we needed to know what would be a safe threshold to to adjust uh, uh, database query timeouts. And instead of just kind of guessing, uh, we were able to go through and process and generate metrics uh, using mtail to 
find out that, oh, we can adjust the timeout down to 15 seconds and only affect uh, a very small number of requests uh, versus the current default of 60 seconds. Uh, so you can always use metrics to, uh, to, to make decisions. And it's much easier to make decisions when you have numbers to back up what you've been working on. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks. Does anybody have questions? Are you sharing the slides? Oh, did the slides not uh, show up? I mean, I saw them, but like the, the ah. URL, my bad. Uh, yes, the URL, I'll, I'll, I'll update the, uh, the, the calendar invite with the URL. Cool, thanks, Ben. Yep. All right, well, that was easy. Uh, have a good day, everybody.